All right, guys. Um, I've given you some touches that you can do, some skills you can do, uh, some little games you can do if you're lucky enough to have a partner to do it with. So now I just want to go through uh, ways you maybe can challenge yourself more and take it to the level. So for the skills, the first thing I would suggest for the skills is trying to put combos together. So the last time we were talking about dropping shoulders, scissors, change of direction. So let's see now to make it a little bit more difficult, can you combo some of them together to then make it a little bit more difficult? And again, it could be any combo you want. I might see some combos that you guys don't like and you guys might have some combos that I don't prefer. It's not, there's not wrong, it's just what you like. And just experiment and play with it. Ones I like to do, I like to put together a step over and a scissor, that's an example. So I like it when I do a step over, a scissor, and then I go away. So that's an example of comboing two moves together. I also like the idea of a change of direction and a skill combined together. So you could change direction, drop your shoulder, and then go the other way. Another example of comboing a turn, a skill, and the first one was two skills together. You could put more together if you want. What I used to do every now and again in the game was rolling the ball, step over, scissor, and then away. So again, experiment, come up with ones you like, maybe comment, little combos you put together. But again, I just want to make sure you understand there isn't wrong. There's just you experimenting what you think works for you and putting them together and challenging yourself to put together some nice little combos that uh, you can maybe then use in a game. The next way you can make things a little bit more difficult. Can I get a tennis ball? All the touch work we did, obviously when you have a normal sized ball, the bigger surface area makes it easier to do the technique. So if you want to challenge yourself further, smaller ball. I'm just going to use a tennis ball and use some of the examples, not all of the ones. You can go back to one of the, the first videos that does touch work and just do the same thing but we'll try and use a tennis ball. So again, it all becomes more difficult. So when we were doing it, we had our touches that we were doing, you've got your inside outside, and you have to focus in more now because the ball is smaller. Your little turns we were talking about, same thing. You've got to concentrate more because the ball now is smaller. We talked about taking the ball there. Again, a ball is easier. If you want to make it more difficult, try it with a tennis ball. Throwing it up, bringing it down with the laces. Throwing it up, trying to get it with the inside of the foot. And then we obviously add the outside of the foot. All those things will make it a little bit more difficult. Keepy ups, doing this in your house. Again, you think the ball's too easy, try with a tennis ball. <laughs> See how many I can actually do here. So you can staircase it. One, one, two. One, whoop, and I already dropped it. So again, it makes things more difficult, more challenging, because you have to be more accurate. The smaller the object becomes, the more accurate every little touch has to be. So, two ideas to take what I did in the other videos. One, putting combos together, skills and turns. Come up with your own, there isn't right and wrong, just experiment, have fun with it, and challenge yourself. The second one, if you're finding the touch work too easy, again, go to a smaller ball. It doesn't necessarily have to be a tennis ball, but go to a smaller one. Tennis balls do work great though. That will make, again, everything a little bit more difficult because you have to be more exact with your touch. Okay? Hope all that gives you something else you can maybe do during this period of time. If you've got any questions, just leave comments and uh, I can reply to them. Alright, cheers guys.